Hey comic book fans, welcome back to the Comic Fix. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be looking at the second story arc in Jeff Lemire's and Andre Sorrentino's Green Arrow book. Now this book is basically a book that ramps you up for the storyline that's going to be coming next. Now in the previous story arc, we got the big old vision of three dragons coming at Green Arrow. Now one of them is represented by Komodo. Magus tells Green Arrow that the second one, the second dragon, is in the neighboring town. And so Green Arrow goes looking for this mysterious vision that he had. And what he comes to realize is that this vision he had means so much more. That is going to rock him at the core. Now with Jeff Lemire, he's kind of re-tinkering with the origins of Green Arrow. You see him messing around with who is Green Arrow's father? What did his father do for a living? Who was he really? And so you got Green Arrow kind of looking at his father as a different light. I absolutely love the um, he, the person that Oliver saves and Shadow. When you meet her, you just see this absolutely beautiful image by Andre Sorrentino where you see her in this dungeon and you see this dragon. It's just so beautiful. Andre Sorrentino, every single issue, he has this one wow moment that just makes you look at his artwork and you're just like, this guy could be the best artist at all of comics. And so with Jeff Lemire introducing this new character in Shadow, I love how when he introduces her, he makes her seem so much more vital than you would assume that other comic book writers would do with this female character. She's not a damsel in distress. She is a person that could hold her own and make you think that, damn, this girl could even beat up the best of the best. I mean, she is just so much empowered that you just see that women just look at this character in shadow and think, this is a person I can look up to and I can introduce to my daughter and say, hey, look at this. This is awesome. This is a woman that can hold her own. There are some things I still do not like about um, Jeff Lemire's um, run on Green Arrow. Uh, there was a point in the first story arc where you see a character get killed off and you see Naomi who saw the character get killed off and she still has not reacted to the murder that she's witnessed. And you would think that Jeff Lemire will kind of um, not sweep the um, death under the rug, but it feels like he has. And I'm hopefully hoping that later on we'll see Naomi kind of dealing with this death and seeing her how she will interact with this um, new problem that she has been put forth. I really want something a little bit more structure in the plot elements and not feel like that any of them have been left behind. Now knowing Jeff Lemire, I know, I hope that he knows that there is this plot hole and we need to fill it. Because I feel like that with that death that happened, I forget what the guy's name was, that they just put another guy in his place and it just feels like that Jeff Lemire just said, okay, I don't, I don't know where this is going to go, but okay, we'll just put a new guy in there and we'll just forget all about it. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like all the characters have forgot about this guy who died in the first issue. And so, I like this, this story arc of The Shadow. You get the feeling that there's everything's ramping up. There is Count Vertigo in this book, who is the villain, but you can easily say that he was not the main focus point, and he was just an obstacle for Shadow and Green Arrow to get out of the situation that they're in. So in the end, I'm going to give the second story arc in Jeff Lemire and Andre Sorrentino's Green Arrow series a 3 out of 5, and I cannot wait for the next issue.